Hello and welcome to This Week in Campbell Football. I'm Chris Amire alongside Campbell Head Football Coach Mike Minter. And as always, we're powered by our friends at Dunn Benson Ford. Coach, what a win. A 28 nothing shutout win against your in-state rival, Davidson. Well, the guys played well. I mean, they really played together. We, we was preaching that. The only way we're going to come out the desert is we're going to come out together, man. You're not going to come out with one individual making all the plays to get us out. No coach that's going to call all the right plays to get us out. Um, offense or defense or special teams, it's going to take all of us. And, um, and we really stuck together. Really probably the most complete game since I've been here um, that my football team had played. And so um, I was just really proud of the guys just really sticking in there because the first half was up and down. And um, it's the first time that, that we really just kind of just kept playing football. And, um, and then just looked at the results. And, and um, so the offense came out in the second half and, and really started clicking. Um, finally hit one of them deep balls <laughs> that I think was uh, missing in the first three games that we lost there. And, and um, so, you know, again, I think overall just a great win for us. Because of injuries, you really leaned on your senior running back, Jared Joyner, and he delivered over 30 carries for a career high 184 yards. Uh, Jared, I mean, he's he's been a solid guy ever since he's been here. Um, been playing a you know backup role uh, behind Deshaun Jones uh, for the last couple of years, and 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 really, you know, it's his time to shine. And I think he did it last year, too. Um, we were playing Drake, and, and he had to step in and be that guy, and, and he carried us to a victory there. So um, he, he's a big-time running back. We know that. We know we are blessed with two of them. And, and um, you know, we, we asked him early on in the week, can you have 30 carries? He said, yeah, coach. I said, okay, we'll see. And uh, we, we saw. <laughs> you mentioned earlier you hit some deep balls. Aaron Block, man, the second straight big game for him. He was enormous. Another 100-yard receiving game. It's his fourth of the year. Well, you know, that that's has been his deal. He, he's been um, practicing hard. I think him and Anthony stand after practice um, for the last three weeks and really paid off. And, and um, they kind of got a chemistry going right there. But, you know, Block is just showing that he's a big-time receiver and, and – uh, and, and he just continued to get better and better. Um, he, he still got two more years. So um, I, I look forward to seeing this man, you know, continue to grow in his game, continue to grow in his body um, to become that big time receiver, man. It's, it, it, it looks good out there. And the score says it all, but what can you add about your defense? They were dominant. <laughs> defense, um, they showed up. Um, Coach Cox and the defensive staff had them guys um, ready to roll, and um, they they got out there from from the start. Um, these guys was ready to go, and and um, first time I think again that they played a complete game from start to finish, of um, understanding that no matter where they got the ball, because they got a lot of great field position. It didn't matter block field goal, um, stop on fourth down. Guys just kept continued to play great football, and they played together, team ball. That's what defense is about, and uh, I'm just proud of the coaching staff of what they did to get them guys ready to go. Let's take a look at the fantastic highlights. Military Appreciation Day, Campbell and Davidson. The first series of the game, your offense was great, Coach. A 75-yard drive and the big play, this 31-yard reception, Aaron Blockman. Well, Aaron Blockman, again, making big plays all day long um, on a screen pass there to get up the football field. Great job there. Jared Joyner gets into the end zone from nine yards. Well, you couldn't see him. If defense couldn't see him either, and all of a sudden he pops out, touchdown. Great job um, for keeping his feet going. Because of some turnovers, your defense was put in bad positions all day, but they bailed you out time <laughs> after time in that first Yeah, day. they did. They was flying around, making great tackles, being around the football, blocking field goals, all those things lead to great, great momentum for your football team. Great job by Sid Holt of getting his hands up. Holt with the blocked field goal and then much of the same. Your defense giving up just 218 yards in the entire game. Well, that's what that's what we built on is defense and, and um, these guys showed up um, again Every time somebody caught the ball, they was there to make the play. And in the second half, your offense kicks into gear. Great pass, Robbins to Austin Fleming. Hey, let's give Flem the ball because he can make some plays in the middle of the football field. Great throw, great catching traffic, and way to get it into the end zone at the end. 
Jawan Lewis in the secondary, his third interception of the season. They kept testing you, <laughs> and your guys came up here. Yeah, they did. Uh, Jawan has really been playing great for us, defensive player of the game for us. Um, you know, the guys voted on him, and great job by him. And it sets up this 47-yard bomb to block. Well, block, hey, just keep on doing what you do, man. Great connection. Again, we missed all them deep balls early on in the season. It's great to see it connect. And then the clincher, how does he have this left in his legs? Fourth <laughs> quarter, 59-yard TD joiner. Well, I'll tell you what, joiner ran hard all night long, and all you need is a little space, and he'll make it happen. 28 nothing. the final. It was a shutout. And, uh, oh, by the way, you got to travel halfway across the country this week to take on a Moorhead State team that has one of the most prolific offenses in the entire country. Coach, they are averaging over 33 points and over 400 yards of total offense per game. Well, it's, it's that, um, you know, air raid type stuff that, that, that really put pressure on you in a lot of different ways. And um, we just got to play sound. Um, if we play sound, um, know, keep them in front, um, know where they at, we'll be fine. It's going to be a uh, big time up in Kentucky. That defense will be put to the test as uh, Campbell tries to win their second straight game. You can follow along with us a free live audio coverage on GoCamels.com and here locally at 88.3 FM. And then remember the final home game of the season uh, coming up senior day, November 19th against San Diego. For head coach Mike Minner, I'm Chris Hamire saying so long and we'll see you next week on This Week in Campbell Football.